Two of the best sigils in the game can be very hard to get and both of these make a massive difference to your overall damage as they ignore or bypass the damage cap, making them essential to increasing your overall damage beyond the normal ceiling. War Elemental is fantastic as it turns all of your attacks into the weakness of whatever enemy you're facing, giving you a massive bonus to your overall damage. Even if the enemy isn't weak to anything like the training dummy, it still gives around a 20% increase and these increases are not affected by the damage cap, meaning you just straight up deal more damage with this than without it. This makes it a pretty much must use sigil for all builds. Then we have the supplementary damage sigils. This is another one that works around the damage cap as it gives you a chance which goes up to 100% to deal a second hit as you attack an enemy that deals around 20% of the original damage. Because this is a separate damage number, it kind of bypasses the damage cap, making it another essential sigil for pretty much all characters, even the more more slow and hard hitting ones like Siegfried because it's a percentile damage of the hit instead of a flat amount. The thing is both of these seem to only drop from the curio appraising which is very heavily RNG based. So if you're like me you could end up with over a hundred hours in the game and not getting these to drop. Well, we've done some testing and checked through our hours and hours of footage to see which quests we were farming when we got these to drop for us finally. Now this could be RNG, so we could be wrong here, but we looked back at which quests we were farming when 2-6 got two of these sigils appraised for him in quick succession. Both of these were obtained while we were farming the Maniac difficulty quest Saga Illustrated Hellfire to defeat Vulcan Bola. You see, this quest naturally drops attack sigils at the end, but what we noticed when farming this was that the curios we were getting were often also giving us attack sigils. So, since we know that 2-6 got two of these pretty quickly while we were farming this quest, we decided to test it out because I didn't have this sigil yet. So we did around 10 runs, and then I also got War Elemental for myself after a hundred plus hours of other quests and not getting it. This could be RNG, it could be a bias, I'm aware of this, but since this might just be a quest that drops attack sigils, and the curios seem to be weighted more towards attack sigils, we wanted to mention this as War Elemental is just so strong everyone basically wants to get it. But there is more. While doing this, we farmed it a few extra times with a friend, and I actually then got a level 5 supplementary damage sigil to drop from this quest too via the curios. This is another attack class sigil, so it does seem like they are weighted towards giving you these and you just got to get the RNG for it to land on supplementary or war elemental. But since we have now confirmed that both war elemental and supplementary damage have dropped from the curios from farming this quest back to back, we wanted to share it with you guys just in case it helps and possibly has higher odds of dropping attack sigils including these two which are extremely rare and powerful. We also noticed we got a lot of silver centrums when completing this quest at S++ which will require you to burst the health down of the boss before it can do its special move. So we recommend trying to get S++ in case that helps you get better rewards from the curio, we just don't know. It's worth bringing side characters that can apply slow or paralysis as this will be good to keep Vulcan Bola in place for longer at the start allowing you to deal a ton of burst damage and possibly kill him before he goes into his next phase speeding the whole thing up. So give this quest a try and tell us your luck down below. We did want to share that information with you just in case there is something tied to the quest that the curio comes from. But if there isn't and it's a pure RNG system, then don't worry we've got you covered as well. The very hard difficulty quest, the next hot topic, will have you defeat an Infernodial which can be done in a matter of seconds once you've reached the end game. Although this is a lower difficulty quest, meaning the curios don't drop every single time, due to how fast you can kill this thing and repeat it, this is another very efficient farm for getting curios as you can just do it back to back to back extremely fast. On top of this, because it's very hard difficulty, the full assist mode will work, letting you effectively do this semi-AFK if you just want to get as many sigils as you can while doing the absolute least amount of work possible. So while we can confirm getting these sigils from the Vulcan Bola quest, you might want to try the next hot topic as this is also very fast for getting those curios. Share any other farming tips and tricks that you've found to get some good sigils or other items we'd love to hear so we can all learn together as a community and subscribe for more Granblue Fantasy Reeling.